news you can use today. Let me dig this up. This is a kind of interesting. This was, uh, I was in San Diego over the weekend and I saw in the local, on a local news channel, an article about uh, some interesting trends in unemployment. And um, in, in fact, we went out to, to eat a couple of times and they were having a hard time. The servers were having a hard time getting up to speed. Um, you know, you could tell that they were either new servers or they hadn't had a lot of experience. Um, and then later on, after the second or third day we were there, we saw uh, an article and it talked about um, that, in fact, all of the restaurants are having a hard time getting people to come back to work. Uh, one restaurant in particular said they typically have more than 70 employees and they were stuck at 35. They couldn't even get people to uh, respond to their ads. Typically, they'd run an ad and they'd have four to 500 people apply. And every time they had run the Craigslist ad, they were getting one or two. And then those people didn't even show up for job interviews. And, you know, it, it's a combination. The news channel thought it was a combination of people being afraid to go to work because of COVID and the fact that so many people here in California have become um, essentially indentured servants to the state government now. Uh, in other words, it's, it's worth more to stay home and stay unemployed than it is to take a gainful job or gainful employment. Um, and and this, this is gonna blow your mind. It said last year, since March of 2020, so a little over a year, 21 million unemployment claims have been filed in California. 21 million. Now think about that. California has 40 million people and only 16.9 million people who work out of that 40 million. But out of that 16.9, there was 21 million claims for unemployment. That's everybody plus 5 million or 6 million. Um it's unbelievable. They, the state has paid out more than $132 billion in benefits. Uh, the previous year, they paid $8, $8 billion in benefits. They went from 8 to 132 Now, California cannot print its own money. No state can. Only the federal government can print their own money. So, um, you know, a lot of this money has been given to folks or given to the government by the federal government. And that gravy train is getting ready to come to an end as we've talked about in previous uh, calls. But we are, we've developed as a society, we've developed into a, a group of non-working people. Um, nationwide, uh, it also goes on in the article to talk about nationwide, approximately 30% of all workers in the US now are considered at least some form of self-employment. So we're going to a self-employed society. You know, a lot of these companies that used to have tons and tons of employees who lost them due to COVID are having a real hard time, not just restaurants in San Diego, but all over, having a hard time filling those jobs because, you know, in, in the case of California, there's 132 billion that they've given out to stay home. Um, and, and in fact, it, it said something like 90% of the people who received unemployment last year in California made more on unemployment than they made on their job. So, you know, human beings being human, you know, what are you gonna do? You have a chance to get free money for sitting at home from the government or are you gonna go work for it and make less? So that's a problem that we've got a society um, and it's something that we'll have to look towards down the road and how it will affect our business. Um, you know, when the government gravy train runs out, there just won't be enough money, um, you know, and there won't be enough jobs because as these businesses that can't fill employees have to shrink. In the case of this one uh, company they interviewed, they had two restaurants in two different locations in San Diego County. They're considering closing one of the two and bringing all their employees over to the, the mothership. Um, and so it would be a permanent reduction, whereas right now they have the ability and the desire and the demand for more employees. But if they can't get it filled, they're going to have to consolidate. And you're going to see that happen all over the country. So that's um, news you can use for today. Let's go ahead and get going.